bunch of times this year. Did, did that game just kind of reinforce how how well you guys can rebound in the uh, in the backcourt? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, I can always do a better job of it. Lack that in my game a lot of times. So being more consistent there, Brady and Austin, I did bring up Austin. Um, but yeah, it's something we're always going to need, especially as the year goes on. And teams adjust as best they can with that. You know, we got to try and clean up and see what you for along the way. Obviously, with Braden, the, uh, the efforts there with everything that he does on the court, but what do you think makes him such an efficient rebounder uh, as a young player, as uh, someone who maybe isn't as tall as you or Fletcher? You know, Brandon, just what, what makes him so effective on the ground? Uh, he just kind of knows the ball. His instincts are off the charts. Um, so he's, he's played that way all his life. You know, you leave on the ball, you get to go and make plays. So um, you know, I'm kind of in the same mindset. He's got to do a better job of it. Um, but he does a great job yeah, cleaning stuff up and plays on the offense and the key holes and like that. Uh, um, with the last non conference game tomorrow uh, against Florida and um, is there anything this team is kind of reinforcing, I guess, with this last non-conference game just uh, uh, before you guys head into Big Ten play? Just getting better every day. Um, the goal is the season going on, win or lose, getting better every day. Um, nothing specific. Just uh, making sure we're ready. Um, it's for, uh, for conference, conference schedule. You know, the Big Ten's always tough, so we're ready for it. It's just the way you guys have been able to take care of the basketball for a team with young guards, but also one that plays at the post as much as you do. There's a lot of turnover risk involved in those kinds of things. Why have you been so successful taking care of the ball? Uh, it's a combination. The coaching staff really emphasizes it. Um, giving us great rules to follow. Great gu guidelines, I'd say, more than rules. Um, and st great stuff for us to execute. And, you know, we've just been pretty simple. And it helps when, you know, Zach's become a great decision maker out of the post. Braden's a great decision maker. Fletcher's a great decision maker. Everybody that comes in the game is a great decision maker. Um, we all, you know, they, they do it. They all do a good job. Of everybody that plays a good job of playing their strengths. So, um, you, know, you know, it's just playing the game right way. This is sort of the model, right? Offensive rebounding and limiting turnovers, and you know, you guys win the possession column more often than not. Yeah, yeah. Pain always emphasizes that if you uh, rebound somebody. Less turnovers, you get more possessions. You know, it doesn't always work, but nine times out of ten, you have to put yourself in a good spot. So. It just, um, you know, this is kind of your first year being the guy who gets the gets the top perimeter uh, matchup defensively, kind of, kind of every week. How have you sort of changed your approach this year, as opposed to last year when you were kind of the utility guy? You'd get a four one game, you'd get a guard the next game, things like that. How have you handled it? Um, preparing, you know, because I think sometimes you go into a game and you think you're going to have to take away one guy and then somebody else heats up and you have to kind of adjust. Um, so it's been the same preparation for me. Um, like I said, the coaches do a great job of giving me a great game plan and the guys around me on the floor do a great job of giving me good help. Um, so I, it's, uh, it's a cool challenge to have a little bit tougher in the league. There's a, a lot of really great Players, wing players, guards, We've got guys that play before. Um, so it'll be, um, I'm excited for it. You know, it'll be a, it'll be a good, good challenge for us. You've done a really good job staying tall. Like when somebody maybe gets a step on you, you're able to use your height and length to make sure that you get a pretty good contest. This has been a pretty good closeout team. I think you're a big part of that. Can you just kind of speak to how you're leveraging your advantages right now from a defensive perspective? Um, it's uh, like it's again, it's following our, following our guidelines. Um, you know, just just keeping it simple. Um, I think you know, contesting high, not fouling. I think we can do better at that. Just trying to get teams in the tough twos, um, letting the big guys kind of clean it up vertically at the rim, and um, just staying solid in the gaps. And knowing personnel, I think is really big for us. So. Um, just one last thing for me. What did you guys learn, you know, playing without Zach? Um, if you haven't been asked that, right? I yeah, apologize no, no, if no. you have. I, uh, no, just, um, you know, you can, you can win multiple ways. Um, I think no matter who's out there, 
can always win defensively. Um, and uh, just, just uh, with him, obviously, it's going to be close awesome to the West, but I thought Trey did an unbelievable job being aggressive um, and kind of filling that void. Caleb, Caleb, all the, you know, the front court was great. Mason gave us a ton of great minutes and was really aggressive. Um, so I think you know, everybody just kind of does their job at a higher level if somebody like that's out. She can't replace him with one guy. Um, so I, I think it's a good experience for us. Hopefully we can 